many of you guys out there think you guys can beat me in video games, come on on. I'll bring you on the show and I'll take you down online. Yes, I will. Now, if you win, then that's great. You walk away. I still have a TV show. You don't. Ha, ha, ha. Now, <laughs> let me also explain here. The new Batman Origins look a very good game. Clear graphics. It's looking really nice. It actually, um, Robin, Batman, Catwoman, they're all coming out in it. And maybe even Lex Luthor. We're not sure yet, but they're talking about it. Now, also, if you're into the Lego series, they got the new Lego Marvel superheroes coming out. Looks like a nice game for kids. It's rated E for everyone. You can play with your kids, play with your dogs, play with your cats. I don't care what you do with it, but you can play it wherever you want, whenever you want it, as long as you got the systems. Now, Lego uh, superheroes will be coming out for Xbox, PS3, and for the PS4, Xbox One, also the 3DS, and possibly the 2DS, depending on Nintendo and what they want to do. Now, let's also talk about the new Xbox One. Looking like a good console. Uh, Microsoft themselves, they messed up a little bit with their video gaming and what they wanted to do, but it's fine. Now they're recorrecting everything, and it's looking to be a great system. It's going to come with about 250 gigabytes of the normal version, and then advanced, you can pay more for more gigabytes, whatever you want. Now, PS4 looking pretty nice also. The remotes has a new style. The remotes even have the nice little camera on them, and it's looking pretty neat. It also comes with 400 gigabytes. That's what the console can come with. And let me talk about my tablet again. Because, you know, this tablet right here in the RT, it has the power to run Minecraft. Anything you want. You can run it, you can play with it, you can play it in the bathtub. You can play it on the movies. I don't care what you do with it, you can play it wherever you want. Now, let me also inform you about the new multiplayer series for the upcoming Need for Speed. Yes, I am talking about Need for Speed. They are making another one. Um, it's also going to be partnered with the people that made Ashfall, the other racing game, which is pretty nice, but it's more for applications, not so much consoles. But... Need for Speed's looking pretty good. It has a beautiful multiplayer, because Need for Speed was never known for that. But now they're doing pretty good, and they're saying, hey guys, let's play multiplayer with our buddies, because they never really were good at that. Um, other than Need for Speed Paradise, that was a pretty good game. But the new Need for Speed looking really nice. Now let's talk about the uh, also new upcoming score, score racks for the players in the games of Call of Duty Ghosts. That has not been out yet, but they've been demo for it. It looks pretty nice. I played it myself. Um, Mason is in the future of Elite Squad that goes into different bases and takes down enemies. He also, um, you're a, you can be a female or a male in the gaming. Yes, I did say female. You ladies out there. Now, you could also play as a dog. So if your dog plays video games, he's going to love this. Let me tell you. If your cat plays it, then I'm sorry, buddy. Whiskers is going to have to go. Now, this dog right here, he is a canine unit. He's Shepherd, Shepherd, German Shepherd. I'm not sure if they're going to be allowing any other dogs, but the German Shepherd is. That's probably the only one that's going to be on there. It has a camera attached to his back, so he can look at everything. He can do everything. He can do what you tell him to do, and he takes down people just like you do with a gun. But he just has balls, and is good, which is good. Now, let's also talk about bonus maps. Now, the zombies, they're going to have great, beautiful zombie maps that are going to be able to play up to eight people. Yes, I said it. new zombie map. It's not like any other. It comes with a new gun. It's the first zombie map to actually come out with a different gun. Instead of the M1911, it's going to come with an older western gun, which is, looks pretty nice. It does probably the same in damage. No one's played it yet, except for the Triarch themselves. That's the developers that didn't know that. Now, the campaign of it, it also looks really nice. Now, let's also talk about the new Legend of Zelda for you all Zelda players out there. Let me tell you all something. The new Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds, looking great. Now, it's going to be played a little bit different than the 64 version. It's going to be different. But we'll talk about it later on, on our next show. So you tune back here or else I'll find you.